everyone, we're going to write our complex number in standard form, which is a plus bi. We have square root of 12 times cosine of negative pi divided by 3 plus i times sine of negative pi divided by 3. All right, so basically, let's rewrite this using our even odd functions. So we have c equals also square root of 12 is 4 times 3. So that's going to be 2 square root of 3. All right, cosine is the even function. So I can just take out the negative and write this as cosine of pi divided by 3. All right, and then sine is the odd function. So I can pull this negative out and put it in front of the sine and write negative i sine of pi divided by 3. Now all we have to do is evaluate. So we have 2 times the square root of 3 cosine of pi divided by 3 is 1 half. That's um, 60 degrees, so that's 1 half minus sine of 60 degrees or pi divided by 3 is square root of 3 divided by 2i. Now what happens is these 2's are going to cancel out so we're just going to distribute the square root of 3, and that gives you square root of 3 minus 3i. And that is your uh, complex number in standard form. Uh, I put another one here that you might want to try on your own. If you want to try this one, this one's a little easier. So basically, um, you could pause the video and do that. We already know that cosine of pi divided by 3 is 1 half. And then uh, sine of pi divided by 3 is square root of 3, divided by 2, and then you have the i. When you distribute, you're going to get 1 plus square root of 3i. Got to be careful with this i. <laughs> Sometimes they will write this as 1 plus i square root of 3, just to make sure this i is not under the radical. So when you're writing this out, make sure that i's not, make sure you're not doing square root of 3 and you get that i too close because it's not supposed to be under the radical. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.